the best coach oh, in the world. Oh, no, that's only 1-0. Interesting. Dude, earlier... How did one game... Hold on. One game happen <laughs> and over, like, three Falco Luigi's. That's crazy. Or two two Falco Marths. Or two Falco Marths, two Falco I think you might be two Falco off Luigi's. on your timing. No, okay. At least one Falco Marth, two Falco Luigi's. I mean, that makes more sense than since winner's finals. <laughs> well, I mean, dude, it's, it's game two right now. Oh, uh, oh. Yeah, I don't think Shine was going to hit, but up air wasn't going to hit either, so. Ooh. I actually think with the momentum that Luigi had going towards the, the edge, even if he did it, the roll in, the down smash still would have hit. That was weird. weird. Weirdly smart. Oh. Yeah, you can't just go for the double up air on Luigi. He's going to nair you till you die. You get the one up air on Luigi, and then you have to bait out his aerial and hope he does it, which is obviously the mix up. Is he going to do the nair or is he not? Ooh, that was cool. He, was, he pulled that trigger super fast. I, yeah, I think it was just the, the invincibility on the get up right there that should have waited a split second. Because he knew he got the laser reset, right? He so might not have known, actually. Uh, he might maybe, have thought he got tech in place. Maybe that you can react to it, but maybe he didn't. Does laser? Uh, That's the other option that you can do. Does laser ever not reset? I mean, I'm sure it like, always does sure less like, same damage. I'm well, sure like 300 percent, it might not. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, I mean, you can always just smash the eye. Yeah, but you can smash the eye. I, but I think if it does less than... I don't know the exact mechanic, yeah, but I'm if it always does less than 7%, I think it will always... For, for all intents and purposes, laser will almost always reset. Man, that yeah, that time, the laser beat the the uh, the up smash, so... Well, he might have just done the super low... Like, a much lower laser. Oh, oh why didn't that smash? Because he... Uh, that smash yeah. would have covered three options. It would have covered everything know. except roll to the left. Which is what he did. No, he rolled with the right. Well, he would have covered rolled with the right. Is he going to yeah. from the edge of the platform? Is, that smash is huge. I think he was, I don't know. Maybe you're right. I don't think he was positioned properly. Man, this is tough. And yeah, I think Blaze is feeling the uh, the old, I'm a little rusty. I'm not, uh, I forgot what it's like to play against against pork chops. Yeah, um, oh, nice. but it's, so, like last week we saw um, pork chops get double eliminated by Father. Yeah, so it didn't but happen. It, but it seems like his knowledge of the Luigi matchup, which is also less technically demanding. Yeah, and I don't think, I actually don't think historically he's been necessary. like, again, talk, talking about strong matches versus weak ones. Right. I don't think Marth has been his strongest matchup um, uh, historically. Also combined with uh, probably the best Marth against Falco in Florida. Yeah, well, in South Florida. I don't know what, in Florida. Because Mewtwo King lives in Florida. Oh, yeah. Forgot Mewtwo King. Uh, I always have to get used to Mewtwo King being here. And there's probably and Colin. Colin, yeah. uh, Colin's been going fox against everybody recently, has he not? Uh, I don't know. I think he's but been. I know he's been going ride or die fox recently. I think. Okay, yeah, he and they're doing the fox, doing the fox, fox mark thing. Yeah, and it was close last. Uh, this is the stuff you'll only see at weeklies, where uh, game one is Falco Luigi, and then game two is Mark Fox, and it's completely serious. <laughs> You're not gonna see that like a random national. Yeah. Just because they know each other. Is gonna start this off with a zero to death? Nope. Jab. Why is Fox's jab so good? Can you imagine if Martha had a good jab? Oh my god. Imagine Peach <laughs> with Fox's jab. I oh wish. my god. There's so many times when I. Jab into float I, cancel nair? Well, I just. Oh. Yeah. Like, or I want a jab reset and I can't because it's not a true reset. It's too strong. It works at like lower percents, right? Good talk. Sorry, man. <laughs> Um, so, like, Marthritis is a thing, but it shouldn't be a thing this bad on Yoshi's. <laughs> like, that was a 200% kill. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean... Uh, oh, he jumped it? No, no oh, okay, he side beat into he's it. He's sick, he's sick. He knows, he knows but he's, he's dead doing. now. Yeah. Actually, lab something out against what, Luigi. What's here? What'd you lab out? Uh... Because I lost, I lost the Blade, I think, like, last week or two weeks ago or whatever, so I was labbing something out. I was labbing out... If I could, Marth killer Luigi, uh -huh. but Luigi's sweet spot goes below uh, the light shield. That's yeah. <laughs> the, what I what I tried to do for a little bit, but it was too risky. Is as Peach, you can float out there, and it's, there's like a spacing, and a height, and a space, and so like in two ways. Right. Um, I got you. Where you get just in front of where Luigi wants to, wants to do his up B, uh -huh. and so it turns you around, and you grab the ledge. Oh yeah, I, I tried doing that with uh. 
Falco. Yeah, but it doesn't it doesn't really work. You have to like float because yeah. if you float off stage and then he hits you, he can just grab and he grabs ledge first and he just drop down air Ooh, or drop or drop down back air, and you don't have your uh, yeah. Then you don't have your your double jump because you used it and then you're dead. That was a, another thing I lapped out with Falco was taking the the up B and grabbing ledge, but it's difficult. Because if you fast fall after you get hit, then you grab it. But it's so hard to get the fast fall. And then if you don't, then you're off stage. And as Falco, it's like... So it's too risky to go for it, I think. Especially when you can just edgeguard Luigi in a lot of other ways. Yeah, that's true. Like, you can do, just do what Clay's been doing and just yeah, shine, shine back, air. back air. Yeah, shine hold, back Holds the ledge. Yeah, he's so, he's so slow well, to recover. Because that's, a, that's Blaya's little mix-up there, is he threatens an aerial, and then he doesn't do it. Yeah. Like, he does that double jump. So that's why shine, yeah. But if he did aerial, uh, it, it becomes... He just, yeah. he just does but the shine back air, so, too, so it yeah. covers everything. The only thing it wouldn't cover is if Blaya just did, like, a super early upbeat. But, like, that's also risky as Luigi. Doing an uppy that won't like sweet spot, You're like a sitting duck, a sitting plumber. Oh, okay, tech chase. Tech, yep, there goes. Tech. Yeah, this is. Here it goes. Uh, oh my gosh. Oh, a little early. Smash? Yeah, yeah. I think jab or uh, jab or down tilt, and then you can cover the other option, or just wait. That works too. No, uh, I think uh, you do shield breaker to to force them to go up, and you release it early, and then. Yeah, that's a mix up that yeah. I love seeing personally. Yeah. But at, at the that other position, I think literally if he jabbed and then reacted to whatever happened after he jabbed, he could have covered everything. Oh, down air, nice. That was a clutch. Yeah, RTO too busy uh, playing video games to worry about. Oh, uh, what, what games. are you playing, Russ? <laughs> but I want to know what you're playing. Yeah, Russ won't tell me what's playing. It's not garbage. Yeah, why are you letting your commentators just leave stuff? Yeah. Oh, I guess I'm in charge now. All right. Cool. I'm in charge. Get out of here. Yeah. All right. Here, Ooh, I'm trying to watch this. Bl Blaya, rather than uh, mashing nair, mashed down air, and it worked out very well. Started all of this. Oh, bad di on that. Oh, uh, that, that's a clay special, isn't it? Doing the shine turnaround on the stage with back air. Yeah, he loves that. It's not that good, but I always try to beat it and I can't. So <laughs> it's, it's really frustrating, actually. Well, it gives you that little extra range. Um, I, I don't think there's any point in doing it when you can just do a ledge hop fair because it gives you the same kind of range. But well, fair is much more susceptible to crouch cancel, I think. But even the back, the back air that he does is also susceptible to it crouch is, cancel because he's trying to catch you in the air. So by the time he comes down, you're getting hit with the weak hit. Yeah. And you can crouch cancel the weak hit of back air, like ridiculous percents. Like I think you can crouch cancel it at about a hundred. Pretty nutty. Oh, that was pretty nutty. That's one thing I struggle with. I need to learn if I just need to learn tech tech. Because I'm not sure if they're doing these forward smashes on reaction or the prediction. If they're doing it on reaction, I need to learn how to do it on reaction. I think it's like the fake reaction where uh, you know how you know you're playing. You're like, man, is this reaction like just so much better than mine? Like, how, do I just suck? And it's more just like, um, also interesting that Clay counterpicked him here, uh, whereas Blaya counterpicked Kaike here. Uh, yeah, but uh, Porkchop's style, well, especially against Luigi, is just much better. Yeah. It also could just be like, he, yeah, he doesn't they mind play it. each other so much. Yeah, he doesn't mind it. Like, there's an Ice Climbers player that I play in Tampa who we've played each other so much that the strikes end up coming out to I ban Yoshi's and he bans FD. Interesting. Because he wins on Yoshi's, but I went on FD. Hey, you got your room to run around. It's really, it's, but it's really bizarre. No, and that just I might be you. what's going on it. here. That. Like, uh, Dreamland, uh, a good counter pick for Luigi generally. He can live for a while. Uh, especially if, like with a good player like Blay, who's got really good DI most of the time. There was not good DI there. Um, actually, find it. Maybe against Blaze, this actually is a pretty good counter pick. Because Blaze is just super good on the platforms, right? And like Dreamlands, the platforms are really high up. So maybe just harder for him to move around. 
easier for pork chops to control the ground without giving Blaya the FD combos. Oh, you could have uh, down air there. I would have gone for it, but maybe I would have lost. Oh, you could have gone for it there again too. Yeah, he's well, he's he's again he's you know the with the counter pick to Dreamland comes a like okay this is this is how I'm gonna commit myself. Oh, that was very smart. Um, and I'm gonna commit oh, to this, dare. so like I'm not gonna bother with the risky. Yeah, uh, Luigi's sweet spot up B is just so it's so low. I don't think anything hits it. You have to just hog it. That was, that was, oh, I don't know how to describe that. Oh, he needs a misfire right here. Yep. Yeah. Even if he got the misfire, Clay covered yeah, it. Yeah, what a down air. He knows exactly. Down air, it's just, yeah, it's just, same, we were talking about this with Father last week. He was just using down air to really stuff. Uh, his, Luigi's recovery can't really challenge it. It's just yeah. so slow. Easily reactable. Yep. And it lasts so long that you can start your down air early enough to cover the misfire. But it lasts so long that it'll still cover the normal one. Falco's broken. I don't know about broken, but yeah, it's very, he's pretty he's good. Very, very good at destroying Luigi's recovery. I feel like I'm like one of the very few Falco mains that think Falco is still just godlike. Yeah, well, we were talking about that earlier. I really want PPMD to return just because, I mean, because he's cool, but just be so people stop complaining about Falco and actually just play him again. Because, like, he's sick. But, like, nobody, just nobody plays Falco. I think. If PP comes back, I think he's just gonna be Marth. I honestly think his Marth does so much better in most matchups than his Falco. That's because you, man, you haven't seen Prime PP. You haven't seen PP. No, I you have seen. Him, you haven't seen you him four stock many, Armada. You know, well, he didn't four stock Armada. It was an almost a four stock. Yeah, you know, <laughs> it was. It was basically four stock. Didn't he go for like a suicide dare or something and missed? Yeah. <laughs> uh, to this day, uh, that would have been. Other than like Leffen's one four stock and like FC return, I think it would have been the only four stock Armada ever. Yeah, because he's sick. Gosh, that's how sick Armada is. No one understands that Armada is actually the best player ever. It, it, are you are you like joking? Do you think people don't think that he's the best player? Dude, they don't. They refuse. I've I've known it forever, and people just refuse to accept it. I definitely think he's the best player ever. Yeah, he's it's pretty obvious. There's like not even a question. Unless some like super hybrid. Even if you're not gonna call him the best player ever, you can't say he's not the most consistent. Oh, you're dead. Oh, you could have held ledge. Or oh, you could down there. That works too. Oh no, you gotta do it a little earlier there, Clay. You gotta cover the misfire too. It's still an option. Ah, uh, he tried to try to sneak on the ledge before the fireball hit him. Just a little too. A uh, little, little too late on it. It's still such a good option because the worst thing that happens is you get hit with a fireball and you take like 4% and the best thing that happens is Luigi dies. So the fireball doesn't lead into anything. It's just trying to keep you from getting yeah, on the ledge. So you the, might as well just, always go yeah, for it. Because, again, because he's so slow. He's got that... Uh, um, oh, what? He needs some... Nice. Yeah, dude, that is so good. Yeah, and, uh, he did downward angle left hill. I don't know why. <laughs> the daft is not very good for uh, Luigi. Oh, you call it daft? That's I never call it daft because nobody knows what I'm talking about. Um, I, I know everything. That's always unfortunate when you try oh. when you try to grab the Falco uh, right after they shine, but then the air comes out right before your your yeah. grab, and you're just like, oh, uh, wait oh, a minute, caught him? Uh, that's sh yeah, but look, that's shouldn't you be able to grab? That's so unfortunate. You can grab in between shine and there. Yeah, you should be able to, right? Yeah, but it is, you're slow is what I'm saying. Oh, okay. Like, you you're know saying you, he pressed A yeah. a little too late or Yeah, like, you, it's, that's what I'm saying. It's one of those situations where you know you can do it, but you mess up just a little bit. Ooh, that's, is that dead? Oh, he, he was almost dead, I yeah. think. Just because no DI. And, you, you know, you're a little too late, and then you get punished for it. It's like, oh, man. And then you're, you're, you're not scared, but you're not as likely to go for it again. Yeah. And then it has that much more power. Oh, I did it. Uh, oh, I'm freaking out. Oh. Why? What happened? So he did the. Oh, no. oh. good tag. So really quickly, what had happened was um. So, you know how Falcon can do a full hop triple laser, right? Mm -hmm. So what Clay did was he did a full hop and did the two lasers that are near the top, but he made it look like he was going on the top platform, and Blaya saw this and immediately tried to wave on the platform. But uh, Pork Chops kept going back and just did a falling laser after it, and then was able to catch Blaya on the top platform. Oh man! And the the the, the oh, comeback. That it? That's yeah, it. That's, that's it. it. It looked over, honestly. 
It looked over. I looked away. And it looked then over. Blaya's like, wait a minute. I got this, dude. I'm sick. I'm sick. Blaya's um, pretty sick. Yeah, so that's cool. Blaya's an okay player. You know, he's been around the block once or twice. Yeah, well, he, he you know, he's strong mentally. He's like, he knows what he has to do. <laughs> and he, he caught he caught a few. Ready? Got a couple good reads. And that's what you need. I think Falco's one of the more one of the characters that's more susceptible to uh, reads. Not in the sense like every character can obviously be read, but Falco gets hurt so much by getting read that that might just be a problem. I'm, I say as I think it's one of my big problems. It's very predictable. A lot of Falcos get a little predictable with their tech options, thinking that they could just tech roll away or tech in place shine or something, and they. They just get a little too complacent yeah. with their get-up options, thinking it's going to beat everything. And really, they just need to mix it up. Oh! Sick. Gosh. Sick from both of them, DI'd honestly. up on the back fantastic. air. It was so that smart. Was <gasps> nice. Very nice. Yeah, man. They're, 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 they're anything. Right this above is sick. the fire. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I love watching, oh, like, Emily match, gosh. like, Melee, where they're just, just swinging, trading blows back and forth. Wow. He could have... Uh, he could have there with the back air. He could have back air, but he was also like, oh, wait, Blaze, Blaze got something planned, so let me wait. But he didn't have anything. And they both waited. That's why it's sick. <laughs> it was the wait. I yeah, love the wait. The double game. wait. The double wait. The double wait. It's so sick. It's actually what I hate when people complain about, uh, like, Puff being slow matches or whatever. There's so much going on. <coughs> Does nobody notice, like, know all the stuff that's going on in a Puff match? Yes. There's so much but the waiting thing, and baiting. But the thing is... In a lo in like low level oh. puff matches, oh, it's just slow, yeah. Oh yeah, in a low level puff match, oh, obviously they're just like trying a, to back yeah. air and back yeah. air. Yeah, what, like watching what Hungry Boxes is so different than watching what yeah. other puffs do. So it's 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 kind of dumb to make that comparison because that's one puff versus every puff yeah, in the world. People still shit on H or I mean, uh, crap on H box. I didn't say it, Russ. He's not here. Fine. Yeah, he's left. He left to like go play video games. Yeah. I wish I could leave and go play. Well, I actually wish I could just leave to go watch yeah, I, video games. Yeah, I want to do both. <laughs> Oh, dude, I wish I could do both. I need a, wish I had a person near me to play. <laughs> I'm in Wellington. I'm in, like, nowhere. Dude, you just take come take, come down 441 and hang out with the Boca squad. I might. I probably will. <laughs> I need to play more. I can only do so much. Uh, like, that's what, I, that's what I do. I study so much, and then it's like I have to try and, yeah, like, do yep. everything when I come here or PPG. Yeah, well, and yeah, PPG's dude, that's what friendlies are for. You gotta, you just gotta come. We're probably closer than PPG. Say again. We're probably closer than PPG. Oh. Like coming, yeah, just like how far up Wellington are you, dude? It like I used to, I used to date a girl in Wellington, and it was like 20 minutes. Yeah, it's like 20 minutes to PPG too. That's what I was about to say. It's like they're probably about the same. I guess, yeah, but all you have to do is come straight down 441 versus. Go all the way out east and then come back. Like I don't know. You yeah, take you gotta take like southern all the way and then go up military. Yo, Blaze is about to bring this. He brought this back hard and yeah, this is back. crazy. Play with the reset. Uh, from getting absolutely washed in winners. Yeah. Like there's no way to sugarcoat it. He got he, a he, clean 3-0. Yep. I think maybe one game was close, but now back at it. Uh, I can't wait <laughs> to. I, I just find it so funny that it's Falco Luigi on every stage and then Fox Marth on Yoshi's. Oh, oh he could have jab reset. Oh my god. So that was actually. I don't know if that was Super Mind Game or if uh, Porkchop should have second guessed himself, but he did a late spot dodge. I mean. Yeah. I think it might have just been a Super Mind Game because, like, so Blay was threatening the dash dance. So, like, spot dodge is a bad option. They're dash dancing there. They're waiting for it. But then he waited to spot dodge. And then did a late spot dodge. And Blaze the grab just barely missed. I gotta steal that. I mean, it's interesting that because the fireball is cool, but almost resets the situation. Yeah. But so, like, because, unless Blaze is doing it while falling. But if he if he does like a rising fireball, then the then Falco just falls so much faster that yeah. it's just like well he didn't really accomplish much. Luigi's got a lot of those uh, options that just kind of like reset. Yeah. Like when he does the down B coming down, like you'll hit him, but sometimes it just won't lead into anything, and then you're just like resetting. Oh, he tried to up smash after a laser, and then he just got hit with another one right in the face. 
Oh my gosh! Oh. Pork chop, some of the best lasers in the game. Snipe them three times in a row. Oh, you can't do an air at that low percent. Bl Blaya knows he's just fresh off a new stock. Like, he, he knows he's got that crouch cancel game. Oh! That, that, oh. I nerd out about so many things. Did a fade away down air on shield. Um, Blay has been doing fair on shield a lot when he's been attacking the front of his shield, knowing that like he's spacing outside of shine, so the fair is safe. So he just does this fade away down air and then instantly comes in with a nair. Like there was no way he could react to the fair, but because he faded away far enough to be outside the fair, he just came in with an air and it was free. Free combos. Oh, it was so good. Miss. I feel like I'm just gonna come watch this set. Yeah, a I lot. mean, it's, yeah, that's Aww. what I'm saying. This is a sick set to watch because they're so, um, they're so like in each other's game plan. Like, there's just so much mix-up all over. Mix-ups on mix-ups. He made up for it. He was starting to do a lot of retreating lasers, giving up a lot of stage control, and then came in with an aerial. What do you think it is about... Oh, I guess I kind of understand. Like, this... Th so, I was going to say, what do you think it is about this stage versus Dreamland that uh, Porchop sees so much more success? Uh, like, you know what I'm saying? He kind of... Uh, like, every game on this, he's kind of just really destroyed Blair. Yeah. And so, I'm trying to, like, think what it is. And I think it's a, the larger... Uh, Dreamland has a larger open center area. Correct. So, the platforms are... Oh, the shine here is so good. Has a, I don't know. I'm gonna ask Clay about it later. What he thinks, but I think it has to do with that. Is that Falco just takes up that much more space? Yeah. I think it's a lot control. of minute things. One of them being like edge guarding is a little easier. Um, Luigi has to specifically place a side B. You notice he wasn't side being a lot that game. Oh, we're not seeing Fox Marth. We're seeing Fox. Er, we're seeing, oh, Falco. seeing Falco. Yeah, Marth. He, now maybe he was serious. Maybe before he was like, all right, I'm just messing around. This is free. I mean, he won both games as. No, he won. He he went one and one. Oh, he went one and one. I thought he won both. All right, because oh, right, it's at the second set or the first set of grands. He lost. Oh, oh. that almost looked like a pivot there, and I almost freaked out even more. But it wasn't a pivot there. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think. Uh, I personally think Falco does better against Marth on this stage than Fox does. Against Marth specifically. And why is that? Uh, it's just... Falco's combo game works so much better on Yoshi specifically just because the whole stage, if you get them above the platforms, it's very hard for them to escape to the stage, which is where you want to go against Falco. Mm -hmm. Because once you're on the platforms of Yoshi's, he, he can react to everything. Okay. And cover everything hard. Oh, very, very... Oh, man. Uh, okay, yeah. I See, I kind of sometimes actually would rather play Falco on Yoshi's than a Fox on Yoshi's. Um, but I guess that's just such a different matchup. Yeah, it could um, be, like... I mean, you're probably scared of dying from a grab at 60. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's the thing. Like, up airs are so good. Uh, oh, oh geez, no. that, that's I double mean, whiff. I, maybe is that he, like 110? So. Maybe he thought Clay was going to retreat. Um, what? That was what? sick. What? So did he ASDI that down to shield? Probably, yeah. That was more like to the like edge cancel almost, I think. I'm not 100%. Uh, oh, what? <laughs> I would have dared. Oh, oh, man. I know he's going for Randall. Yeah. But, oh, oh so good roll. Good roll. Yeah, those, That's those, those, those F-Smash callouts work against... Oh, Clay. They, jump. they work against Kaiko, <laughs> but uh, they're they're not going to work so much against... Clay. Clay's movement is... That's the thing about the what I like love playing about Clay is that he'll do something, and he'll, he'll show something, show something, show something, and you're like, all right, I'm, I'm ready for it. And then the one time you you think you have a read on it, he does something else that he hasn't done at all. And yeah. he just like his mix-up tree is just so much larger than like every other Falco's. It's so sick. And like that's kind of what happened there where Blaze is like, oh okay, in this situation you've been uh, retreating or doing a certain oh. thing. Um, Sorry. I have a sick story that matches that too. Actually, so, <laughs> like you, Blaze had that read, and then he goes for his forward smash, and then that one, that's the one time Clay doesn't retreat, and then he punishes for it. So in that same vein, when I was just talking about what Clay does. Um, uh, I was playing Squid, and he was lasering me, and he, he I knew he was going to approach after his laser, and he was going to do a late nair, right. so he just double jabbed him out of it and punished him for it. Right. Right, like double jab, dash, whatever. The very net, after he resets, the neutral, very next exchange, he lasers, same position, same, like, 
does a laser, does a laser, comes in, and then dash, just dash dances. Dash dances right around my jabs, and then punishes me. I was like, oh my god, dude, you're so sick. Put the, the two. Oh, sorry, yeah. Put the chops. Oh, what a tank, what a tank. Oh my gosh. I mean, at that point, I think uh, Blea should kind of just let him get back on stage and grab. Oh man, Hungerbox is popping off right now. Uh, beat Armada? I, I would assume so, yeah. Wow, that's, this is a rough month for Armada. Yeah, he's, he's, I don't think he was playing very well today, even to, in doubles. Yeah. I felt like Android, the, the team, the games were kind of living and dying by Android. When Android was going off, it was like Armada was just playing, he was dropping a lot of combos, he was playing like just all right. So. I mean, I haven't, I haven't seen him play at all, actually, uh, for Smash and Splash. But definitely a royal flush. He yeah. was playing like doo doo. Yeah, he was like just he wasn't looking like Armada. He but his 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 like C game is still just that good. Oh yeah. But, but yeah, he Ar was Armada's doo doo can still beat Mango. <laughs> yeah, so Armada's doo doo could beat Hungerbox, but Ooh. I don't know. Man, I don't want to go to work tomorrow. You don't have to. You can get fired. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Full time smasher. <laughs> Full time commentator. Oh, dude, that's be. the life. That's what I'm going for. Oof. Oh. Smart walk, crouch, he's ready for everything. See, um, I'd, I'd want to be, like, uh, I'd want to get better at, like, commentary and, like, be a well-known commentator, but I'd much rather just be a better player. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty reasonable. So I'll try too. and do both, but, like, I'm focusing more on just getting better. Uh, oh, yep. Oh, he could have reacted. He did the, So he did the smart thing, where he was getting the combo, got him on the stage, and where you, what you want as Falco is if you have to put him onto the stage, you want him near the ledge. Mm -hmm. Because it's so hard for Falco to cover tech roll away with a hard punish. Generally, all you can get is dash attack. But if you get him near the ledge, you can like get him into this spot and then just wave dash just outside of their get up attack and you can cover everything with like grab. Or sometimes down air if you have really good reactions. But what he did instead was he got him in that position. Ooh, That's smart. it. Congratulations Wait, to Porkchops for taking the second set 3-0. Yeah, the Falco... Falco on Yoshi's, he's like ready for it. He's like, not this time, dude. Yeah. I'm ready. For sure, dude. So congratulations to Porkchops. Congratulations.